welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have a very exciting video I want to share with you. I have finally decided on my 2023 goals or as Diamond Painting by Laura calls them bucket list and I wanted to share those with you. I thought I'd go ahead and work on a kit while I am doing that so you'll have something to see and I'll have something to do with my hands. And this is Autumn Sun um, from Dreamer Designs, and it is by David Galcutt. And I may have completed this before this video comes out. I am doing this video early, but I am not going to have it uploaded until the first. I doubt very seriously you're going to see this in my finishes. Although you might if I get lucky, but I still have quite a bit to do and I am running out of time and I have other things going on besides just diamond painting. So I just don't know if I'll get it done or not, but at least I have gotten quite a bit of this done. It has been in my work in progress for a couple of months, actually since October, and I wanted to get as much done as possible on it. So anyway, I would love to share my goals with you for 2023, and they are just that. They are goals. If I don't meet them by the end of the year, I'm okay with it. I'm not going to be stressed out over these. If it is completed, then they're done. If not, then I might put them on for next year, and then, you know, I might not. So it's not... Um, something that I am going to just have to do, but I thought that it would be fun to try to aim towards these goals. It will also help me in deciding what I want to diamond paint. And also it's going to help keep me accountable of what I am doing. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I have eight goals and during the course of the year, I may add some goals. And if I complete these, then you know, that will be great. If I add some and don't complete those, then, you know, that's obviously, you know, fine too. So the first goal that I have, and I really don't have these in any particular order. I just um, wrote them down and thought these are really good goals. And so um, they're not in any order of how I want to complete them. But the first one is to complete 10 different companies, 10 kits from 10 different companies. Now, I'm hoping to complete more than 10 you know, canvases, but I want to have 10 different companies. I want to branch out. I have been working on Diamond Art Club for a long time um, for a lot of my videos, and you know that's fine. I obviously love Diamond Art Club. I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club, but I also want to work on other canvases as well. So I, I do have more than 10 companies in my stash and some of those I definitely want to work on for 2023. I want to work on Distracted by Diamonds. I have several in my, in my stash that I really would like to get to this year. And also um, I want to work on the uh, Diamond Painting Shop. I am also an affiliate there. And Rosa has been so kind to send me, you know, four canvases that are brand new to her company. And I want to um, work on those as soon as possible in the new year. And also, you know, I have um, some Die Moon shop that I purchased during um, their buy one, get one free sale. And then I have um, Jada Gym shop. I bought seven of actually nine, I bought seven of the same size and two um, different sizes of um, the princess kits that she has. And I couldn't believe that I bought seven at one time. I just couldn't narrow them down. And I had some bonus money and Christmas money. And so I went ahead and ordered those in November when she also had a, she had a sale. So I want to get to those and then I have crafties, I have Orloa. So I obviously have several that I can work on. So I'm going to try to rotate around and work on others 
that you know I really want to get to. So that is my first goal. My second goal is for new to me companies and they can already be in my stash. And like I said, Distracted Dot by Diamonds would work. I do have um, some kits from them, but I have never done one. And then um, Craft Ease, I purchased a kit from them, haven't done it yet. And so I, I do want to, to do those. So I'm not sure which four, I haven't decided on that. And the same thing with the 10 different companies. I will decide on you know what I want to do, which ones as I go. I'm not going to limit myself and say, I want to do these particular companies. You know, I kind of know which ones that I want to do, but I'm not going to limit myself um, because there could be some new companies that come out there. And I know that I want to work on one and from Lazy River. And so I've got one in my stash now. I'm hoping to um, have more in my stash. And so that's one of the new to me companies that I definitely want to do. So that is number two. Three is 25 completions. I did not get that this year if or last year. If you counted my, my paint gems, if you counted those individually, yeah, I met that. But if I count that as a collection, which I did, then I did not meet the 25. Part of that was the beginning of the year. I spent so much time, the, really the first quarter of the year, working on Diana, and I got a lot of that one done, but I worked on that one solely. I didn't work on anything else but Diana, and because of that, I did not get that many finishes at the beginning of the year. So my goal is to have the 25 or more, and different sizes. I had so many large canvases in 2022, um, and I want to go smaller on canvases in 2023. I want to have one large canvas that I'm working on in my craft room, and I want to have a smaller canvas, and smaller is relatively speaking, like a 50 by 70, or maybe smaller than that, um, to where it will fit on the lap tray that I use in my den. So hopefully I can get 25. I would love to have more, and who knows if I will make that, but it would be really nice if I could. That way I will also get some out of my stash, and I want to, to do that as well. So that was number three, 25 M completions. Number four is out of those 25, I want to have at least 15 that's from my current stash. So what I have in my stash as of December the 31st, that is the 15 that I want to pull from. And I am going to show you my stash it's going to be probably in February or maybe March. I'm not going to be ready to do that in January. It is going to take a lot of time because, well, I have a lot of kits, but I'm going to spread that out as well. But I want to try to get some of my older ones done. I would like to look and see what the oldest one in my stash is and kind of work from there to get those out of the way. And I've gone through, I have a Excel spreadsheet that has all that information on there. So I will more than likely, well, I'm gonna try, I'll just, I won't say more than likely, but I am going to try to work in my oldest ones. And it just depends, um, I am a very moody diamond painter. I like to paint um, seasonally, but I am a very moody diamond painter. If I am not in the mood, if I'm not feeling it, then I'm not gonna wanna do that painting. I'm gonna be very slow with it and it's going to take me forever. So I like to choose ones that you know speak to me. And so that would just depend on, on how I'm feeling when I pull a diamond painting out. So that was number four, 15 for my current stash. And then the next one is very aggressive. It is 20% completed of my diamond painting conversion. And that one definitely is aggressive. 
um, for me to even think about doing that, but I um, think that you know it's possible over the course of the year, I have, re or I am in the process, I should say, of revising my diamond painting conversion, and I'm going to have a video on that one as well over the next, um, I guess, couple of weeks. I am working on getting that done so I can show you. I'm excited that I have made some changes on how I'm going to do my conversion. I'm having to change colors a lot. I hope you can see where I am. Yeah, you're good, okay. So that one's going to be fun. I think if I work on it a little bit every week, then I can get the 20%. And then once I really get started back on it, um, I will be faster. I was um, slow when I first started and then I picked up speed, but now I am changing my, I'm, I'm doing the same canvas, but the canvas is going to be, or doing the same, it's gonna be the same rendering, but it's going to be smaller. And so I'll discuss that with you as soon as I have everything together and ready for that. So be on the lookout for another um, conversion video but 20%, um, I think it's doable. It's gonna take me the entire year probably. I'm hoping to do more than that, but it's a lot of confetti. So that you know does slow me down quite a bit on that as well. So the next one is to participate in three events. That is going to be very easy. I love to participate in events. Sometimes I do um, get swallowed up with events because I get into the events and then I do not complete others that, you know, I really need to. I need to focus on other kits and not just on events. So I am participating in two events in January. And then I have my own event that I am co-hosting, the Josephine Wall event in April. So that's going to take care of that. Um, I want to do some of the events that I've done in the past such as um, drills and chills if Katie does that again and then um, also I really enjoy summer with the masters and again that's if Katie um, does that I don't I haven't seen yet on the schedule if that's going to be out and let's see what else do oh I like to do the um, Mermaids and Magic, I could not remember the name of it. That's gonna be, I think, in March. And so I already have a kit picked out for that one. So I know I'm going to meet that one without any problems. So number six was three events. And number seven is at least two months of no buy on kits. That does not include accessories because sometimes I see a pin that I want or you know, I see a tray that I want, or I want to try some new wax. So that and that that is definitely less expensive than a kit. Of course, depending on what pins that I want, that can be as much as a kit sometimes. But two months of no buy, I think I can do it. I know I can. I um, it's not that I spent too much in 2022. I am actually really pleased with myself looking back. I thought that I had purchased a lot of kits, and I did, but I didn't purchase nearly as many as I did in 2021, so that's definitely a plus. And I'm also being more selective now with my kits because I want to have smaller kits because I have way too many larger ones in my stash, and I want to concentrate on ones that I can complete much faster um, taking months to complete a kit I start to get a little bored with it and or just you know tired of the same colors tired of the same kit not seeing you know any progress or it doesn't look like progress when you have such large kits and so I want to have smaller kits that I can complete you know in a month or you know less and even a little bit longer but to have to carry on you know three months for one kit I really want to, to focus more on my smaller ones. So that was two months of no buy kits. That's not um, consecutive months, it can be, um, but it doesn't have to be. And it may even be more, we'll just see. 
And then the eighth one, the final one, is to complete at least one princess panel from my Mandy Manzano collection. And I have a few. I don't have all of them, not even nearly all of the ones. I may start looking um, for some D-Stash groups to see other kits that I don't have. I know that I will pay a pretty penny if I do find some that um, I you know that I want, but I want to complete at least one, and I haven't done it because I'm kind of hoarding those. I know that once I do it, that's it. I won't have very many left in my collection, and so I've been kind of putting it off for that reason. So not a very good reason, and there's so much fun to do. So I will definitely do one of those. Not sure which one yet. I may even take one when I go to the retreat in June. I'm still trying to decide what I want to take in June because I will be flying. So to fly with a canvas, I'm not sure. And if you have done that, that's just kind of off topic here, but if you have flown with diamond painting canvas. Let me know how you did it. Did you um, have a bag that you checked in and just had your carry-on as your diamond painting? Or did you also have a bag for your diamond painting things as well as you know your personal, your, your bag, your suitcase, so you don't have to, to check it in? I'm just really curious what others do. I'm mainly concerned with my canvas. I, I definitely will carry that on not sure how I'm going to do that. More than likely, I will use one of the, the containers that I have from Craftably, and I will be able to use that to put my canvas in. So to recap on my goals, I have 10 different companies, four new to me companies, 25 completions, 15 that are from my current stash, 20% of my heaven and earth design, three events, two months of no buy kits, and complete one princess panel from Mandy Manzano. That sounds like a lot, but I think over the course of a year, it's not going to be bad. Also, some of these I can combine, such as the 10 different um, kits or 10 different companies. I can actually combine that with the four new to me's. So I can have one of the companies that's 10 different companies that I have never done anything with before. I can include that as part of my second goal. And each month I will go over what goals that I have accomplished. And that way I can mark those off. I can also stay accountable. And I am going to count on you guys to help me stay accountable um, with the goals especially on my two months of no buy kits. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you were able to take some of this away with you. Maybe you will think of some goals that you want to do. I really didn't have any goals for 2022 other than to start a YouTube channel, which I did, and to have at least 500 by 500 subscribers by the end, uh, not even the end of the year, but by February of 2023, that would be my anniversary date. And I have already met that and surpassed it in 2022. So I thank you so much for that. Until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.